Hello everybody, welcome to the final game of Super League Season 6, well, regular season. We've got Kfog with his Blue Rats up against Bright with his Red Necro. Um, yeah, so this match actually doesn't affect the standings, but of course, well, it affects the standings. It doesn't affect the qualifiers, is what I should have said. Um, so of course, you know, these guys are still going to play and give it their all to see how they finish. Um... Bright could end up, you know, equal points with Seabros. K4 could end up equal with Strider and Bright. So, you know, they're, they're going to play and, you know, have fun. So there you go. Um, fair play for them playing it, even though they were both out of contention. So very nice to see. And in the booth with me is also very nice to see. He's the sexiest man in Blood Bowl. It's Dimmy G. Hello. Where did you get that from? I just <laughs> thought it was funny. Wow, yeah, hilarious, Jim. <laughs> hilarious. Sorry. Uh, this is quite an interesting one, isn't it? Necro versus Rats. I mean, we've seen a fair few of these over mm. the course of two seasons, I think. Uh, yeah, Capo probably underperformed a little bit on his Rats so far this season. I think that's fair to say, yes. A very uh, low points total. You would not expect that from the great one. The great one. Mm. It's not a dacker, is it? He doesn't like dackering, does he? No. <laughs> oh, yeah! See, look, Calcium appreciates you, Timmy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the the good thing is, is uh, Capo is definitely learning over the course of the games because his rat ogre's not stood next to one of his guard storm vermin. <laughs> yes! Correct! He's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's got better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's also making a block on the allies with his block player. So there you wow. go. Oh, diced. Never looking. Oh my god, what a poor LOS. Mm, this is the problem with, back, with blocking straight forwards, isn't it? You don't get those additional blocks. Is he going to blitz with the rogue? Like, uh, like, blitz him with the rogue here seems rough because he's just going to leave himself completely isolated and probably get murdered. Oh my god, he's going to bite his thrower to activate him. No, I don't think he's blitzing. He's just not yeah. going to activate him, yeah, okay. I don't think so, yeah. Like, it's not safe to, like... I mean, obviously you want to blitz the golem and kill him, but... Like, if you just push him... I mean, obviously, jug he's got Juggernaut, so it's just going to push him... Like, right deep into the necromantic half, isn't it? Yeah, it does not blitz. Yeah, I wouldn't have bothered. What a like the, lame turn. <laughs> yeah, it was, wasn't it? He like knocked over one zombie, pushed a couple, and now he's about to get like properly based. Yeah, I what? think Bright will go all in here. You think so? Yeah, I think he probably will, yeah. It's a pretty good opportunity. It like isn't it? It. Yeah. It the fact that like he it. didn't <laughs> take anything, right? He didn't take anything, he didn't need only one knockdown. No AV breaks. Uh Skaven, you're like you wanna fight them, right? Because they're yeah. yeah, you want to base all the agi free players and just make them dodge. Yeah. And fail. Yeah. Oh, your taxes here, Jim. <laughs> I was bamboozled for a second. I was like, what are you ta And then I realised what the sound was. And I'm very, very <laughs> droll, Dimmy. Hilarious banter from the champ <laughs> once again. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hilarious. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Ooh, I thought he was going to wrap him around the side. I guess he can probably just put... I guess this protects the ghoul a bit more as well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I thought when, when the ghoul was in there, I figured we were going to get the wraith in somewhere. Ooh. And like maybe a wolf blitz, but um, no wolf blitz. See, this is, this is strange because it doesn't set up the surf like i like the wolf being in the square the ghouls in so like he can't well i mean he's never just going to stand that right anyway he's going to dodge it isn't he? so i yeah. guess whatever it's fine but. whatever trevor yeah no i know what you mean though yeah yeah it's good to set up it like is surf, good to set up yeah so just to make him think maybe bright setting up for a turn afterwards Who knows? Could be Who knows, Jimmy? Who knows? Next level strats. 
Hello, Steve. Hello, Punter. Oh, God, I am tempted to uh, blitz that Wraith on the right with the Rogue this turn. That's probably terrible as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, probably. You don't want to not blitz, do you? That's the problem. Like, with yeah, I mean, nice. there are annoying yeah, players yeah. to blitz, but like, if you do blitz and they're on the right, so you probably smash them a bit, so. It's tough. It's tough, 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 tough. Also, he, like, pulls you towards the sideline, right? With sidestep, he sidesteps towards the yeah, sideline. Yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah, and he's got frenzy, like, right there. Yeah. Although, like, all these. Oh, he's going for the bottom, yeah. Fair. Full pow. And Rag is not on guard though. No. So he's got to try and protect this Roger. Because the problem is now is you've got the wall blitz in behind into the golem. Mm -hmm. like, he has got his guard there. Is he going to follow that? Is this the. Oh, this is the gutter runner. Mm. Got a year. Yeah, so maybe. Yeah, now he's got two dice with the guard, so he just. He just knocks that zombie down and stays there, and I think that prevents the wolf bits in the way now. Oh. Extra assist for fun. Yeah, we like a fun assist. A fun, a fun assist. <laughs> yeah. what, what was it? Easy the for day? you to say. Carousing. <laughs> Carousing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is stopping the rogue getting blitzed with the claw. Yep. Oh, Cap Nods, hello Tzalakis. What yeah. would Dimmy do? That's the question. What would Dimmy do? Uh, I'd probably let all my players get KO'd and then just throw a 6 plus pass at the end and score. Hey. Yeah. I think mean, that's the best way to beat Necro. <laughs> <laughs> what so I'd anyway, do I'm is, is let all of my players get surfed, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then lose 2 0. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Jump strats, you heard it here first. Yeah. Chum, oh, chum, chum. man. This could be a huge turn for uh, Bright. Could, yeah. You get some blocks back. Quite a few blocks back. Blocks back. A block back. Block. Oh. Luckily, that was with the block. Yeah, yeah, always gonna be. Look a dog. Yeah, good. That's the biggest mark against zombie carriers, right? They can't try even try long bombs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did. I don't know. You, you probably didn't see it, but I put a zombie back there to catch the ball on my first set up as a joke. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I moved it again. Didn't know it's so hard to show. I was, yeah, I was being hilarious, you know. <laughs> yeah, that, that is pretty hilarious, yeah. Comedy dim. Comedy mega dimmy. Hmm. Let me think about this one. Yeah, I guess Ooh. he wants to blitz the... um. The wrestle gutter. I just blitz the wrestle gutter and then put the uh, the wraith in on the leader and the ball carrier. Well, there's an icon for blitzing this <coughs> ghoul could blitz this gutter, which then pushes. Oh, well, the rogue into the wolf. into the wolf, and then you yeah, can the put problem with that is guard. There. The guard behind the rogue is the problem. Mm. Oh yeah, then you're pushing from a shit direction. Yeah, because. Yeah, yeah. There. I've uh, I've poo pooed hitting the rogue this turn. Yeah, if he hadn't been knocked over, he could have chained him into there, and then blitzed him, and then had the follow up hits. Which is I, mean. I mean, he could he could hit the guard guy with his golem. Oh no, that zombie stood up. Disregard. Yeah, errata, errata. Yeah, I was gonna say, and then hit the gutter runner out. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, He's he got is. two guard assists on it. This is a oh, one God. This, did not this stand is, up that zombie. This is horrible. Yep. Did not stand up that zombie first. Which made um, it a two into one. Mistake. Yeah, uh, yeah unforced error. Yeah, but I've done things like that before, I think. Oh yeah, I'll stand this guy up and then I'll blitz this guy and then didn't stand him up and then blitzed anyway. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've 
split someone free and then just left them in base contact <laughs> on a four dodge instead. You know? Exactly, yeah, yeah. We've all done it. Yeah. But well, it's still not easy for KFO, like that, that was like pretty much I mean the one thing is he got a reroll. The wolf is still alive. Yeah, there's still a lot of stuff jammed in, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. he's running around to hit the wolf. Oh, with the, the rogue. There's two guards, yeah. isn't there? There's two guards in it, so he needs the extra. Got to go for the wolves when you get the chance, haven't you? Because they're bastards. Yeah, well, they can keep up the gutter on this, can't they? That's the thing. More or less. It's full pow. Uh, he was just getting his guard away from the roger so he doesn't kill it again. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh, is he going to dodge that right out and then wrestle it? I don't know what he's going to do. No, nah, he's going to... Yeah, he's bringing the ball rounds. He's definitely hitting the wall for the Rogar, but he's probably going to dodge the gutter runner first so he doesn't kill him. He can just kill the... Uh... Oh, no. Kill the wolf? No, dust. What have we got here? One D, one D on the golem. No, a double one. Fails the dodge. Is there anything exciting here? I don't think so. If he had a Skaven team, he could probably fill these three squares, pow him, chain him into there, and then like surf on him or something. But he doesn't have a Skaven team, he's got zombies, so he can't get anything over there, even vaguely. <laughs> um, probably just close the. Close the. What's this thing? Rat Ogre. Four, five, six. Claw the Rat Ogre. I mean, he could, like. Yeah, I guess it's a 4 plus dodge off the Roger, isn't it? Because mm. he could dodge off the Roger and surf the stripper yeah. with Geophires, which is really exciting. Yeah, 1, 2, 3. I think four. he might even be able to. Is that zomb that's zombies on his feet, isn't he? So he, he could just hit the Roger and then do the 3 plus dodge out and then surf it. Yeah. Um, he could hit it with the Wraith, right? The Wraith could hit it and then chain him up. And then one, two, oh yeah, three. yeah, yeah! I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot, actually. But the problem is, is you need the power, right? Because if you get the push, it just doesn't help at all. Yes. But I guess you've got the added advantage of having the both down as well. The problem is, there's a guard on this side, which isn't isn't good, is it? Yeah. So you need. Yeah, you can't. It's only a one D, then, isn't it? You can't do it with a two D. Yeah, I think you just reset. Re e wine. I think the goal on the left should have already moved across by now. Maybe. I don't. I don't hate just bits in the the leader, honestly. Oh, he's standing. Surfed Gil. I don't hate um, blitzing the rogue with the wolf. Do you think that's what he's doing here? Maybe. Yeah, I think I think I like it. In fact, I like it. He needs to get something around in front of these rats, though. Yeah, the fleshy here has to has to go in front of the leader. Not oh, well, he's. Uh... Oh, he just. Oh, he didn't do it with the wolf. No, well that means. And now, wolf. if you stand the wolf, the wolf's on the roger again, which is. Yeah. You don't want to do the four plus dodge because you're not going to re-roll it, are you? <coughs> I think you should take the 2D with the golem and free this wolf and get it back on its feet. Yes. Should do that, but it needs to move the freshie and the wraith first. 
yeah, yeah, free. Yeah. And blitz with his blitz with his wolf is not blitzing the wolf. So maybe he's gonna bad, blitz with that yeah. wolf. Maybe, maybe this wolf is gonna is gonna blitz to get himself up. Looks like uh, Kfo is away here. Yeah, just a bit. Very far away. Yeah, what turn are we on? Three, Three. going into four. Mm. Yeah, Still a bit early as well, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't really want to be away, does he? So. Not really. Necro is just obnoxious. Yeah. The thing is, he can instantly chain his roger out as well. He just hits the blodge goal. Yes. Chain his roger out and him. Oh, he's blitzing the uh, roger. No. Right. Oh, and then pinning it on the sideline. Yeah. Oh. Nice. I hate this. I the guess he did not follow. Yeah, the jug juggernaut that is. You said you can just chain him into it instantly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, like, if he pushes him on the sideline, he won't be able to surf him anyway because the square is going to be filled. Yeah, and you just dodge your fucking gutter, aren't you? No, I meant the roger, like, because the roger won't be able. To, well, you mean dodge him behind him? Yeah, yeah, just dodge your gutter if he's if he's pinned. You'd have to, yeah, you'd have to, and it's a free plus, right? Yeah, with a reroll. With the ball, like, yeah. It's iffy. I mean, yeah. the, you get the surfer, you get the surfer fleshy, a which column, is like a yeah, massive yeah. pain in the ass. He's on yeah. your ball as well. So you just can't follow then, can he? That's the short, that's the end of it. Yeah. You just can't follow. I think yeah, Kvog was thinking about not using dodge just so that he would be down and he could, if he was removed, he could surf him easier. <laughs> oh my god, he's followed. He's followed, yeah. I mean, it, it's got so to like be. A, no, you can put the Wraith in behind. Oh no, he's not in range to put him in behind. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Goodbye, my golem. Oh, he could block him first. Well. Okay, oh, that yeah. makes it a lot better. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Errata, errata. Uh, I mean, it's still... You can still use the Blitz to, to chain him anyway. So, yeah, it's still uh, it's still not great. It just means you don't get... Oh, no, you can't use the Blitz because then he, he needs the Blitz for Juggernaut. God, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Like, I knew he you didn't need idiot, it. Yeah, he's, he's got to use the Blitz with the Roger for Juggernaut. So how can you chain him? Not easily. You can you could do this uphill to push him into there and then follow, and then do this uphill. Like it's just hard, isn't it? It's basically yeah, 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 yeah. I I think we uh, Irata Irata and uh, yeah, it was a huge one. I, I mean, it was huge we, getting we, the pal. Getting the pal I mean, was it's, incredible. It's way too early at this stage, anyway. Just, you just run back, but obviously not. Get some mm. down at least. That's got a dodge though. Yeah, could double one. Well, it doesn't That's have to cool. dodge, I guess. No. You can keep him there for an assist. I would. I mean, it's super early. Like, I don't... I... The problem you've got now is protecting your stripper. Because the stripper is in danger of getting surfed by a wolf, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, at the moment, everything is just... <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, his whole team's getting served. Even his Braga could get served. Oh, this is... an elaborate Spicy. ball protection philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think we're starting to see uh, some interesting options here. He's just got to make the free pass with the Lido, he's got no choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does it. Mm. Right. Rogue does nothing and loses his tackle zones. Most reliable oh, big guy in the game. Oh, that's brutal. Brilliant, Brilliant Rogue, well done. Can we surf 
the rat ogre and the wrestle rat. <laughs> I think we can. Probably, but I think it's not worth it right now that he's gone stupid. It behooves you to pressure the stall. Yeah, but Jim. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think. I mean, I think you've got to surf the uh, stripper. Yeah, and then just get as much back as as you can to pressure the stall. And then just like abandon the uh, rattle groner on a zombie. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. So it's just instant full serve the wrestle, stand the golem up, face him on the guard, um, put the wraith round to tag two gutter runners, maybe even the like the uh, the leader or something, and then probably blitz the stripper. Yeah, he's oh, got you a bunch of safe moves. You can't, sorry. Yeah. He can do a bunch of safe moves. So he should do as many safe moves as possible because they're all completely free with that stupid rogue. People say it's better than a Minotaur, but it's not <laughs> because a Minotaur wouldn't have lost his tackle zones just then. Yeah, but he doesn't have a tail either, though, does he? True. But it's got horns. But he doesn't activate when you roll a one. Yeah, but it doesn't lose his tackle zones. Well, he, the Rauga doesn't lose his tackle zones if there's someone next to him. Yeah, but it did just now lose his tackle zones. <laughs> yeah. Didn't it? It did just now. Honestly, Rauga's are amazing. I don't care. They're the worst. They're the worst. So who's disconnected, does it say? No, no, it just says your opponent when you're spectating. Alright, give me two seconds. I'll be back. Hmm. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, we don't know. It just says opponent when you spectate. And it says you won at the end of the kicks. Because, like, you're just watching. I've got no thoughts, no sense, like, I haven't kept abreast of the situation. I'm nowhere near as into it as I should be. I just watch some games sometimes. Surprised he stood up the freshie, honestly. Like, it's way better moving it to a guy who hasn't been served. In fact, that stand up kind of implies that he's not surfing it almost, or, or he's using three dice, I guess. Interesting. Also, it puts him in being served by a rat ogre mode. So I just can punch the rogue anyway, fair enough. Didn't actually have to, right, with it losing its tackle zones. I'd have been real tempted just to ignore it. And get both ghouls down the field a little bit. Well, it looks like he's definitely not surfing the stripper. Which is not what I would have done. But who can say? It's good or bad. Oh, we still got the wrestle right there. Oh, it's not the stripper, he's wrestler. Yeah, I thought this was the stripper. Okay. Well, him being uh, wrestle makes wrong. me want to surf him less. But I still want to surf him. But yeah, we're not taking the surf. We're hitting the bludger. Yep. Does he want to get the wolf round in front? Is that why? Okay. I mean, K-Fo doesn't want to score though, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like... 
Okay, yeah. I think this is fine. Probably. I mean, it's a lot. It's you know, it's a good spot, isn't it? It's got lots of things jammed in. I don't know, mate. Like, cause if I'm if I'm uh, right, I just one D blitz the wolf with the leader thrower, dodge all the gutter runners out, and go over the other side. Do you mean if you're careful? Uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. If I'm KFO, I just 1D blitz the wolf with the leader thrower and then all the gutter runners go over to the other side. Yeah, yeah, that seems quite reasonable. <clears throat> it's like an easy stall, this. Like, I say they can probably all get there anyway, because there's a gate dodge so here, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, because you can't go, you can't through, go there, through the end zone. Ball. Yeah, the ball yeah, can just go this way, look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The ball can just go around that way. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I mean, the 1D is pretty fruity. I was already blitz, blitzed. Blitz with the roger. Yeah, I think he'll, he'll either score or he'll go through this, uh, this gate dodge. Or he'll try and go this way and accidentally score. I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, I've done that before. That is just scoring. Scores. Well, there we go. Four turns for Bright. And this could, uh... Well, it, like, it also gives the Rats an opportunity to score again, right? Like, I know that sounds it mental. Does. And it is, <laughs> it is a bit mental. But, like, Necro are going to expose themselves more trying to score on a four-turn drive than they would on an eight-turn drive. So... If you're gonna sack, it, like if you're gonna turn them over, it's easier to do it on a short drive than an eight-turn drive. Yes. Most of the time. Yes, hundred percent. So like, it's not. It's and that terrible. was always Dio's thing, wasn't it? It's better to score on turn six than turn seven. Yeah, because then you've got the threat of scoring again. Yeah. Just three turns to turn over is very reasonable. So yeah, this isn't easy. This isn't easy for Bright, but he'll still be a bit happy, won't he? He's got the chance to score, but yeah, still got to got to think about the possibility of the filthy rats getting it. Filthy, disgusting, disgusting, cheating rats that everybody hates. Except Sol and Chum. But every upstanding citizen hates rats. I, uh, I quite like rats. <laughs> See you. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. they were fun the other day, they were fun the other they're, they're fun when you're playing them, but they're not fun playing against them, no. Mm. They can definitely do some stuff they when they don't die. And you've still got like a full squad and everything. Yep. Get the rare, interesting. Ooh, I guess that's good for Necro. Kind of good for both of them, really. Like, line rats are pretty shit, right? They can get a decent power. Yeah, but fouling regions just sucks. Uh, just, you just need a KO, though, don't you? Like, then the second half. Yeah. The KO is removed. So, so what's he got? He's got four turns. So, um, it's a KO. A few more of those he'll need. He gets the Blitz, a sidestepper. I'm 100% fits in the size of the yeah. Yeah, I might have even 3D'd. Nah, just... And he gets to foul him now as well. Oh, he can't clear the zombie. <laughs> oh, Dice just foul him with a golem. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, son. Go, Go on, son. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, he can GFI. He can GFI the other zombie. So if he hits mm. with that zombie, he can... The one that's behind the wall can GFI twice and foul him. Once. So I'd, I'd put a guard no, in there. No, 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 no. The, the, the zombie on the left. So he has to punch with that zombie in between the wolf and the golem, and then the other zombie on the left. Yeah, he'd already moved him though. It was one GFI. No, oh, no, the one next to the wolf. Like, uh, but why there, not yeah, this yeah. one that he just moved? He just moved the wrong. He just moved that one that was going to foul. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? It's, it? 
Oh, he's, he's not fouling. Well, he was I close. I would foul that. I would, I would definitely foul that. I would have done as well, yeah. I would have set up I'm not to block the zombies. 100%. 100%. There's only, there's only, there's only a few players in Blood Bowl I foul. <laughs> one, one is War Dancers. Yeah. And one is Gutter Runners. Yeah. I think 100%. most people are probably the same, yeah. Yeah, I don't foul. And like Vampire Runners, they can get a kick in the head as well. <laughs> Screw those guys. Uh, no idea, Game of Vision. I know Sniper Reno was calling, wasn't it? But I don't know. <laughs> so much to talk about fouling. I like hardly ever foul. Like, if if anything, it's probably a weakness of mine. I don't. I, don't, I should foul more. Yeah, you should. But um, yeah, there's certain there's certain players that I just even if it's not a great foul, I'll just chuck it in anyway. <laughs> Especially if it's with like a zombie, if, and you got a bribe, right? Like, if I didn't have the bribe, I probably wouldn't have done it. Yeah. You know, maybe won the game versus tree with your uh, war dancer foul, didn't you? Cast it. And then, bosh. Yeah, I think I think we can all get on board with fouling dancers and cutters. <clears throat> yeah, we're just the most impactful players in the game. I think the like the only foul I've really done was against Tree, and that was the host strip ball dancer, and it died, didn't it? That yeah. was great. Yeah, that felt good. good. <laughs> that felt good. <laughs> yeah, that one felt good. Dead, dead, dead. Hey! Well, should I will be going again? Just casual and got to run it. Yep, well done. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, great player. Apo work though. Yeah. Great. <laughs> 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 Fuck me. <laughs> Can he, uh. Uphill. I think that go. Mm, uh... This is hard. Bright's done pretty well this turn. Has mm. to be said. Done pretty well. He's not in rushes, he's still got three turns, that's the thing. Like, if he only had three turns to score, maybe he would have uh, been a bit more hurried and made a mistake. But He's going to 1D this guy. If he powers him, he's going to jump over him and strip the ball uphill. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Doesn't. dice. Absolute comedy mega. Oh, he followed. What's that? That's a 4 2 3. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's a 4 2. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, just through. He's just through. Yeah. Let's freaking go. He oh, that's doesn't good. have wrestle, or he's not a soul, right? Oh, man. Dead, dead, dead. The soul rat would have had him, wouldn't he? That's the thing. I, I, the more, you know, the more that we we played this this Super League, the more that I've got on board with uh, Souls, Wrestle Strip Rat. Yeah, but you lose. What do you, what do you lose for it? You lose the side step. No, does he have the side step guy? No, you, you essentially pay two skills, right? Because you're not getting the extra skill, and you're paying a skill to stack. And you're losing another skill on somebody, so you're like losing three skills of other other rats. So yeah, it's it's a it's a, it is high cost. Mm. But um, he has what a leader thrower, the wrestle stripper, and then he has a guard and a tackle. Uh, Soul doesn't have a guard. He oh, doesn't well. have guard, and he doesn't have sidestep. There must be something else he doesn't have as well. I am brain. Whoa hey! Whoa hey! <laughs> hey. Euroball public beta just went live, did it? Is that on um uh, Fumble? Is it? 
Discord. So is it just like a thing? You can't play it, right? You just you can just see it. Oh, here it is. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. I got, I just could have downloaded a PDF here. Oh, so yeah, it's just as stupid as the uh, previous one. Well, we don't need to discuss it. Oh, they've banned Morg, Griff, Skitter, Hackburn, Bomber, Cindy, Zarg. I don't know who Zarg is. Zarg, Mad Eye. Del. He's rubbish, I don't know why they ban him. Uh, well, the ghouls ran forward. Role. Yeah, it's not very good. I guess I guess it, they, they can like do it in case it's good. Eh? Better, yeah. to, better safe than sorry is what a lot of people feel. This is a bit dicey. Oh, you can't choose one of four. Oh, this leaves a gaping fool. A gaping fool. He can't actually hit with a fleshy now because that'll that'll give him the three plus dodger. He has to hit with a zombie and hit with a fleshy over there. Like this side, he has to he has to try and power. I hate this block because it pushes him there oh and gives God. him a three plus away. Oh, okay, yeah, actually, yeah, taking the dub gold is better. But the problem is this guy's got a three plus as well, and this guy, so. Well, it's just a four plus in to strip him again on the one day, right? You could have going to get the guard in for sure, and then it's whether he. Uh... Oh my god! Oh my scores. god! Doesn't oh, get the power. Yes, yeah, so it's a four plus in for one day. Um. You gotta go with the stripper. You can't do this with. And then you've got the bludger to recover all of the side stuff. Be lucky to do the one D, and then he can two D this, and it's no dodge. Oh, which is a little see, bit yeah. better than a little bit better. Than oh, it's four way plus. better, way better. Yeah, could even make it two uh, D, right? You could even just put another guy in and make it two D. Yeah, what the yeah? Because he's got no re rolls left now. Be put, careful. Put the bludger in, yeah. Put the bludger in. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the side stepper in, then use the bludger for recovery. The problem is with putting the side stepper in is you're free in the wolf. Yeah. He's just gonna wonder you. Yeah, because you don't want to free the wolf because the wolf is like Bright's main scoring threat at the moment. Yeah, it's 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 based on a scaven as well. Oh three tackle oh, zones. Three tackle zones. Oh it's based on a yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Roger can punch this now. <laughs> Oh mate, if the Roger punches that and rolls a one, it's going to be Scoring for it. Yeah, it's fine, it's right, right. Love it. Love it. Yeah. You can jump over that golem. That's a three... <laughs> oh no, it's four plus because the wolf. Oh god. Is he going to jump? He's jumping. He is jumping. He makes the He's jump. He's made it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I thought you picked it up as well. If you didn't pick it up. Uh, oh, the ball has come out for the wolf. It's unfortunate. Mm. That guard rat's in a good spot though. Unfortunately, he can just blitz this ghoul, can't he? Uh, ghoul. Roll. Got the runner. You just blitz him and then change him onto there, which could be very good. I mean, it would be terrible if the, the, the vermin caught it, though, or that line wreck, because you've already used your blitz. Yeah, but then you've got other people that can block, right? So I, I don't think it's bad. I think it's good. The only problem is um, you haven't got block for the blitz. It's got no reroll, is it? Oh, it's got one reroll. 
Ah, he's got one. Yeah. So the fact that Bright's got one real probably means I think I think I think he blitz the uh, gutter here. Personally. Doesn't get the pal. How many mega? I just he just pushes away. This was the other option. You can either scatter it or you can push away the storm vermin. So that now you can block with a wolf, block with the zombie, and then yeah, block with the zombie, block with the other ghoul, and then run away. So you can clear all three, all three bases on the. Then you just potato him with your bludger, aren't you? You are, yeah. And then Kpo's still got a scoring for it. He really wants to knock over this stripper. If he doesn't knock over the strip by this, risky. Oh, full, instant full power. That was probably a mistake, right? He probably should have hit the the block gutter first on 2D, so you'd have had 3D for hitting the stripper. Oh no, nice. I didn't spot that. Oh wow. Oh my god. See, if this was Artemis, he would have conceded by now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Now he's got a drill for the pickup. Yeah. Easy. Alright. I mean, that was pretty close. It was it was pretty fantastic when he made the jump and everything. It was just the... What was it? It was a 5 plus pickup, was it? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, Steve looks pretty crazy. Um, One, two, three, four, five. Can punch and free the flesh. You can either stick it behind or stick it in on him. Gonna block with a fleshy, and then just oh, put the zombie there. This turns on so well for Bright. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Really nice. Great turn for Bright. Uh, I think I would have took the block with the uh, the wolf there on the skillless lino. That's one D, Jimmy. No, you can oh, be yeah, my wingman any time. Okay, I'll well. <laughs> Disregard. Irata, Irata. Hello, Chunter. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome. Welcome, rat viewers, to another disgusting rat team. But this one uh, coached by Big Kev and struggling against Bright. And his necromantics. <clears throat> so what happened to the wrestle gutter? Did he not field it? Or? He got just got cast. Uh, oh, cast by the rogo, and then he apoed it. Yeah. Yeah. Cast right. <laughs> <laughs> by the rogo. What would be easy to take in a full-on fight to the death with only your bare hands, five halflings, or ten noblars? I think you're probably de looking at death either way, aren't you? Um. I guess the five halflings are easier because in Warhammer, Noblers are pretty close to halflings. They're only strength one in Blood Bowl. So, yeah. Are they? Yeah, yeah. The, the so where is the Noblers from? Is it like Warhammer, from the, the, the like Ogres, yeah, like, yeah, the Ogre Kings. Like the Western, no, the Eastern Mountains or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where the Chaos Dwarfs are at. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see Minotaurs causing your own version. Good point. <laughs> oh, all based. Yep. What's a snotling then? Snot Snotlings are tiny. They are pathetic. You uh, you definitely would def wouldn't mind beating off ten halfling. Uh, made all the dice. Made all the dice. Didn't get the power though, and he hasn't got a reroll. Yeah, but they're like edgy free shit bags, aren't they, girls? Yeah. This is like, I've been in this situation so many times on tabletop. Instant one in nine dead goal. Yeah. Yeah, snotlings are tiny. Uh, ten snotlings would be easy. We could all beat off ten snotlings if we tried. <laughs> um, I wonder if there's a chain away here. 
He's got a reroll, hasn't he? So he, he probably wants to try and chain now. Um, he's got this wolf, hasn't he? I can go in there. And then this zombie can go in there. And then he can free the wolf or the wraith to hit from dying. Probably we should have hit with the fleshy first. So if it's a pow, then you could block with the wraith to free the wolf, because then the wolf can blitz from here better. Yeah, he used to get a bunch of snotlings on a 40 mil pace. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, so he's doing it a different way. Oh, in fact, that would have been the better way, wouldn't it? I guess not. It still is the better way, just doing it in the wolf here, but this may be a GFI. So, it's with block, but it's maybe a GFI. Oh. Yeah, he's going to oh, reroll this... anyway. Into oh my god! Skulls. Wow. Oh my god, he wouldn't have made the dodge though, would he? Well, exactly, yeah, that's the thing. You still, you still re-roll it. The problem was it might have been and a GF. Oh, he regened, he got cast. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was better to like fill in with the wolf and then blitz with the zombie. Like, obviously, it's it's kind of like better in that you don't knock yourself over with the both down, but you're still not happy about rolling a 1 in one anyway, so... Yeah, that was obviously even more unlucky than I would have been though, because he got the one in nine into the one thirty six, which was the only way he didn't get to attempt the dodge. Um, but yeah, at least he regen. <laughs> at least he regen. Made you mad by proxy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Skaven still got eleven men. Um, and yeah, yeah he point. hasn't got a stripper though. No. But yeah, Bright will feel a bit hard done by there, won't he, I'll say. Yeah. And it's really hard for him. Like, I mean, does he go for the win just because it's kind of like a meaningless game? Or, I mean, it's really hard to go for a win here. Isn't it? Yeah. Like, even, if it even if it was meaningful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really. I mean, you'd have hard. to. You'd still have to, right? Because. Yeah, I think mean, it's good practice. But... Yeah. Bang it in, but then like rats just score so easily, even against that. Thing. Yeah. Oh well. Oh my god. Well, maybe we won't have to think about it now. <laughs> yeah. So, There's a gaping hole made either way, or oh, just you'll roll the blitz, won't he? Instant blitz. Uh, well, the problem is that it's into an assist, so the instant blitz isn't so good. So yeah, he's got to put in the. Oh no! You can't put him on the sideline though. No. True. Yeah, maybe he shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Haha, <laughs> he feeds him a he feeds him a lino. Yeah, but this means only this one got, gutter. Got yeah, this means only one gutter gets through. Probably yeah. shouldn't have done that. I would have just yeah banged the rat, the gutter runner. Yeah. Only four. It's so good that they have it. Can you imagine like all eleven rats going through here? Like, oh my god! Yeah, it'd be ludicrous. Oh, he didn't even catch it. Wow. A blitz with Skaven punter. I know, right? <laughs> I it's statistic. I've played against Skaven like five times, and they've got 150 <laughs> blitzes against me. Mm, that's a statistical anomaly. Does anybody yeah, know it's... if Cyanide have fucked up the RNG of the? <laughs> Mate, I uh, I remember when I was in Rebel Rookie League, I conceded a game three 0 down on my turn three <laughs> against Rats because they got three blitzes and just scored every turn. Yeah. But I was hurt, and then someone told me off conceding, and I was like, oh, it's three 0 down on turn three. So. <laughs> you've gone, you've gone underwater there, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me uh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Am I still underwater? No, you sound perfect now. Hey, thanks, James. Oh, you're quite welcome, <laughs> dim old. <laughs> dim old. <laughs> and, uh, 
And Elliot. I am here. Yeah. I am here. <laughs> Wait, oh was, God. was that actually Elliot? He, he sounds... He sounds <laughs> rough. <laughs> Hello, Elliot. Mouthful of nuts. <laughs> I'm out. Try <laughs> now. Oh, oh, look at that. Gets him on the second hit. Outrageous. And Kaz. Dead, dead, dead. Now the wind might be on. Yeah, two, two gutters down, only two left. Score in three and then turn him over in five. It's definitely doable. Oh my god. K is gonna kill his guard guy with a roger again, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. Let's hope so. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, don't knock him away from the roger. Oh. oh. Nice. Comedy Mega. Oh, the time of all is annoying, isn't it? Is he surfing to make sure of it? Nope, he's just first actioning it. Well, oh my god, <laughs> and he blitz. Yep, yeah, probably, probably should have. He's gonna, uh, he's just, he's just letting him score, so, <laughs> to go for the win, so he can get the win. He can three dice both gutters and get very far down the field in a very safe cage. This is looking pretty good for Bright. It's looking pretty bright. The future's bright. The future's orange. orange. Is orange... Oh no, it's not orange anymore, is it? It's EE. Yeah. You know what EE stands for? Everything Everywhere or something like that. Oh, you do know that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I knew someone who used to work for Orange and then he's like, it's everything everywhere now. Yeah. <laughs> like this yeah, was years I... ago, of course, but so I, I, I knew instantly before it was even called a year. Instantly, <laughs> Robin bastards. A KO removal, removal, removal. Instant removal. And why hasn't he stood up that zombie off the sideline? Come on, Bright. Yeah, yeah. The the zombie was always going to go here. That should have been first action, instant. Yeah. I mean, I can't blame him for getting the bloodlust of seeing a gutter runner. <laughs> yeah, no, neither can I. K Fog was the same. It was just like, yeah. got to. That was with the war dance, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. he can foul the roger because he's got the bribe. Uh -huh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's so why I didn't hate... stand him up. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. See, bright confirmed better than Dim. Oh, I hate, I hate not, I hate not getting forward. I want to score in three here. I would totally be going for the win. Well, I mean, already going for the win, but like more for the, like a faster win, right? Three turn score. I'd be going for the three no turn pal. score here. No pal. Diced. I mean, you can still be going for the score. You can still be trying to score in uh, in four, right, and then turn him over in four. But Ed. removed. Hello. Gage. Mega. Yeah, this is looking really good for Bright. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if he makes a dodge here, he can then block him, chain him in, and then uphill the ball for a 136 success. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't seem that good, actually, does it? I mean, what's it? <laughs> He's got nothing left, Jim. Yeah, and he just skulls. Which means, get lots of dice on that gutter. And gets downfield with a very safe cage, and gets to foul the gutter as well. Very exciting. Yeah, he should be looking to score next time, hopefully. Yeah. I think you have to block 
this line over with the with the fleshy. I think you have to open with that, because then that gives you the space to 3D blitz with your wolf onto this into the double into the fleshy, right? And then that gives you all the assist to foul him as well. Boo. This just gets him down the field then. Yeah. Yeah, I would have put this guy in there. Like I, I would have done that to clear the way. In fact, he didn't even need to clear the way, did he? So I could have moved these two first anyway. And then this one wants to go in there. And then yeah, so no he didn't even need to clear I guess he did there. Look, he's he's clear it clearing the way has helped, but I guess he didn't need to do it first. So he probably should have just moved out of the way first. And then uh Got this guy in to 3D blitz him. What on earth? Yeah, bizarre. I don't know how he has. I would have had six dice at that. Gutter. <laughs> nine dice. I would have had nine dice. Twelve dice. I would have had twelve dice at that. Gutter. Um, personally, and fouled him. Well, n nine dice and fouled him, or twelve dice and not fouled him. I think was the way. You can always foul the uh, thrower here, can't you? Which is all yeah. right. Kaz? Dead, dead, dead. Whoa. This is a mauling. It is, yeah. Necromantic, classic necromantic. And rattle. <laughs> Yeah, well, the right ogre only cares one guy, right? <laughs> yeah, only. He only... weren't even a Kaz, was it? He KO'd the wrestle, right? He KO'd he Kazed it. Oh, no, he Kaz the wrestle, yeah, before. and then he up it. Yeah. So he's made a quarter of the casualties. <laughs> and the uh, gut is exposed, so definitely going to go for three dice. Into three dice, into three dice, into three dice. Yeah, I mean, you have to, right? All your players go in here, and you push the gutter to there, to there, and then he pushes it back, and then you can probably foul it as well, honestly. Oh, I hate this. Absolute hatred for this play. Yeah, he gets the foul. Ah, oh, no, so, okay, this pushed him into a better square if he's going to risk the foul before the score, which he could. Yeah, I think I would. Because he could have moved the fleshy up to there and then the wolf over there, right? And so he's still got a full cage if he gets sent off. This is like a needlessly risky foul. He's got a bribe. I know he's got a bribe, but like the fleshy could have been here and the wolf could have been there, right? So it was a totally safe cage even if he got sent off. I think that's better. Um... Well, I don't think that's. I think I'm. Well, okay, I do only think I'm pretty almost certain that that's better. To have a safe cage. Pretty before. almost certain. Yeah. How many rats have we got, Jim? Look at the. Oh, Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine. Eight. But only only one gut runner. No, two gut runners. Two gut runners. Yeah, two gutters, eight total. Eight gutters is enough. The uh, wrestler recovered. Eight gutters. Eight gutters. Oh, eight players. Two gutters is enough. <laughs> That's can't. Spin. Eight gutters are enough, Jim. Yeah, eight gutters would be all right, wouldn't it? That oh sounds God, like a be. secret league team on football. <laughs> eight gutters. There is a clan of shin, isn't there? They have like night runners and gutter runners. Night runner. Mm. Yeah, and without the juggernaut Rogue, this is miserable. Mm. Are they playing a. Do they play the game straight after this? Yeah, Chalice straight after. Oh, here we go.
He's making a lot of blocks for somebody who only has eight gutter runners. <laughs> Gonna potato. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> sure looks like it. Yeah, and then this one can cover. Oh, she jumped. Oh, I didn't jump over. I'm mm. just gonna take the wraith. Yeah, I like tagging wraith. I really like tagging wraiths. Yeah. I think that's the thing that I worked out. They can it's dodge cool. though. They can. They're so annoying, honestly. Yes. I mean, tagging Sorry. fleshies is great because they can't dodge very well. But if you tag, the, you'd rather you'd rather tag a wraith just because if you fail to blitz it, it's horrendous, <laughs> right? Like if you yeah, fail the yeah, yeah. wounds is so bad that adds a lot of equity into just tagging it and not blitzing it. And yeah, foul appearance, sidestep, bloody g free, and they got blocked. Unbelievable, Jeff. Hello. Hello. Who made the rule set? Is it the same person? Oh, are you talking about uh, Eurobo? Are you talking about? Are you talking about uh, <laughs> BBSL? Yeah. Well, B this is the old Eurobo rules. Hello, Bo. This is the old Eurobo rules. Oh. Just gone. Not the forthcoming ones. Will we do a super, will we do a super league with the forthcoming ones? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't fancy that. Who happens to be the same person who invented Super League? Um... Which Super League? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Triple Skull invented the Super League. And he invent like he's the guy who's supposed to be finding it. Um, super right. Well, it's not quite true, but yes, that's what Volk was getting at. <laughs> um, I invented Super League. I invented Super League. I did. Twenty twenty one. I did. Here we go. Two into two. Gets the pushes. You did just dodge the uh, brave. Has to reroll this. Could have rerolled the first one actually. Yeah, this is the problem, isn't it? He could have just re-rolled the first one. To push him diagonally oh, back. Yeah. Did Storm make Super League on, on Fumble? Storm and Triple Skull, I believe. Because right. Triple oh, Skull yes. was like, Storm joined later and he was just an admin, but... <laughs> <laughs> Store did the actual work. I did think it was Store, and I thought, because I, I always thought that Store had stolen the name of Super League. <laughs> Took over admining. But was that season three of Super League, or was that Tackle Zone Star Divisions for two seasons, and then when Store admined it was when it was Super League? I mean, the fear set up. TSD. Yeah, we won TST. Uh. 
I don't know. Like, I made Super League anyway, me, because what happened was the the footballing elite made Super League, didn't they? Well, had the idea of Super League in 2021. And then I thought this would be a great thing for Blood Bowl. And, uh, and then so... Because I'd wanted it before. I'd wanted that kind of thing before. And I thought that's what the Twitch Blood Bowl League was going to be. But it wasn't. It was just like every other league ever. And then... Um, so I was like, let's have a Toxic Elite League. Uh, which obviously is good in Blood Bowl. I mean, it would be good to watch in football, wouldn't it? If, if every week was like, you know, Real Madrid versus Juventus and stuff like that. It would be class, wouldn't it? But that obviously, like the Champions League, Jim. Well, no, but this was like, this was going to be every week, right? This was going to be every week. And they were just going to break away and do their own thing and fuck off all the other clubs. Um, so it had been a bad thing for football, but a great thing for the viewers. So I thought, hmm, it's just really a positive thing if we do it with Blood Bowl. No one's, no one's suffering, is it? We just get the best... We get the upsides without the downsides if we do Super League and Blood Bowl. And then, so, uh, so I did it. Because it didn't happen with Twitch Blood Bowl. Right, if, if Twitch Blood Bowl League had done it the first time, what I, if, if they'd done what I thought when they called it Twitch Blood Bowl League, then that would have been good enough. But uh, they didn't. They just made it like every other league ever. Which Super League on Blood Bowl, on Fumble, is like every other league ever, but res. <laughs> so it's it's a bit like it's a bit the Premier like Premier League and Super League is really really good. Yeah, know. it's it's a bit like Super League in this, you know, in that it's like it's res and that. But it the problem is you've got to play it for like a year to get to the Premier League. So I just didn't bother, you know. Danish Football League has been called the Super League. Wow. Is that, like, ironically, triple score? <laughs> Danish Football League? Hilarious banter. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> What's next? Are like, oh, the Scottish are going to call their league the, the Fantastic League? <laughs> I just don't yeah, like. I just don't like the million. I just don't like the system. I just don't like that system of million divisions, and you've got to play for a year to get to the top. It just doesn't interest me. I like I like the res element, obviously. So like that 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 has got in common between both super leagues. If they would just give me a buy to the top league. I'd have played <laughs> Fumble Super League, but I'm not going to play for a year before I have a meaningful match. <laughs> you can have Volk Spot, Jim. Volk Spot. Wait, what division are you? Oh, top division. Oh, wow. Are you, Volk? Nice. Four. I had loads of really hardcore games in uh, Super League, and I was in the uh, whatever it's called. What's the, uh, the remedial? Uh, <laughs> yeah, like the the Swiss stage or whatever. I played some really really good coaches. I played that hovering. That was when I found out that hovering is like legit. Mm. Like, he's one of the best players I've played against like, ever. Yeah, I don't think people would like that, Volk. I, I don't think that would work. But thank you, Volk. I mean, let's not say 50 out of the 100 of the top players in the world, Triple Skull, because that's implying <laughs> that NAF ratings are in any way... <laughs> <laughs> translate to the best the top players right it's not highest ranked NAF players 50 out of 100 of the top ranked NAF players not top players because it's just not true is it 
<laughs> are they, um, I guess you're gonna do the new Euro Bowl rules for. Nah, probably Super not. League. They seem mental. Not this season, it might be next season. Yeah, maybe. Not that they're bad, not I'm you. not saying not that they're you. bad. The oh, humble yeah, one. Yeah, them, yeah. Humble I'm, one. Not, I'm not saying that they're bad, the top 50 top ranked NAF players, but they are just the top 50 ranked NAF players. That's all they are, right? They're the top 50 ranked. Like, it's like saying that the top 10 ranked players on Fumble are the top 10 players in the world. It's just not true. It's like saying the top 10 ranked players in Blood Bowl 3 are the top 10 players in the world. It's just not true, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not slating table toppers. You know. I'm just saying, like it's weird how tabletop players say the best players in the world when it's just not true at all. You know. Like it's just weird. That's that's the thing that I find weird about tabletop players. As if you know, people who play tabletop events are the only players in the world. Which is not true. And then also that these rankings are accurate. Which also isn't true. Because you can see. Because Devo went from 3rd to 43rd after one, ter after one tournament. He didn't get... 40 people didn't magically get better than him overnight, did they? <laughs> you know. So it's not a particularly good ranking. But I did like what you said about a triple skull. It's a, it's a combination of skill, opportunity and effort. That's a very good... That's a very good description of it. That's like life in general. Uh, well, not really, because like you know, like, I mean, yeah, I guess it it is it is a it, bit, it, yeah. It's it exactly is that. Like is life is. Skill but but do you know what I mean? Like everyone who plays football has boots. <laughs> not Don't everyone. Jim. Yeah. Everyone in the Premier League has boots, and oh, everyone yeah, in the Premier, Premier League, um, you know, tr trains really really hard. <laughs> So, but that's, that's not true of Blood Bowl, is it? Do you know what I mean? So, with Blood Bowl, there is a huge disparity in, in what players, how hard they try and, uh, and what, you know, what resources they have to play tabletop. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Kaz. Mm. Oh my god, Jim, I haven't told you about chicken yet, have I? <laughs> no. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you off stream, I think. Okay, so. okay. Yeah, yeah. We've got the NAF ladder right on here, which is good. Obviously, Triple School's been in it, the, uh, the NAF Cup and that. So, you know, the, the thing is, I think the, the NAF Spin League is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think, I think that we needed that for ages. Yeah, I think that's better than having a, like, you know, a Blood Bowl 3 ex not so Super League, right? <laughs> we, could, we could have a not so Super League that feeds into the Super League eventually, right? I could, could copy that all. The problem is I don't do that work. Um, so I'd have to get somebody else to run it all, like Demento. If, if you're watching Demento. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's the go-to, isn't it, for any anything anybody wants doing on Blood Bowl three? Um, so you know, so there's an option of he's he's got a score. He's just this. It's just this ghoul, isn't it? It's just clear for the ghoul and then uh, clear the ghoul. Just clear the ghoul, save the world, and then two two, and then you might get the draw. Um, well, yeah, that's the score. It's his draw, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So but I mean, it's easy though. I don't think there's anything clever, right? I think it's just blitz, blitz with a. What's this thing called? Wraith. Blitz right. with the Wraith and Block of the Wolf and then hand off to the Ghoul and Skull. Don't think there's anything clever. Oh mate, he's gonna he's gonna fail the hand off, isn't he? Maybe, yeah. I'll tell you the story after after the YouTube video has ended. Okay, thanks. The upcoming it's star like... of Ladonia, is he? Oh, it's the mentor. Mm. The mentor. Really good cool Didn't Elliot give him like a rating of ninety? Something like 91, one, yeah. 91. Which, you know, is maybe fair to rank in the same as Star since so Star doesn't play anymore. <laughs> no yeah, offense. No offense. Just a joke. So, yeah, like, pe people have said about having, like, a, a feeder league for the Super League. Um, 
and then have the Super League as like the top one or two things. Is how, how many how many players are in a division in the in the Fumble Super League? Is it is it six or eight? eight? Uh, no, six. It's yeah, six. I think it might be eight, but then I didn't play. Yeah, it was eight. But then half the guys didn't play their games in my division. That's why I stopped playing in it. Well, that's what I thought. I thought if you have it eight, then, you know, the last two or three weeks will be a bit pointless for a lot of people. So I thought yeah, six like kept the Swiss interest. Was, the Swiss was, like, so high up. And, like, I like, looked, loved every game. And it was really, really good. And then I got into the group stage. I played, like, my first three games. And then, like, like you say, like, the last couple of games, they just didn't respond to you. Like, weren't, like, didn't want to play. Yeah, like already, right? Brighton, K Fog's got a pointless game now. So then, if they, if, it, if it was seven games, then probably the the next two would be also be pointless, and like half the half the games wouldn't get played in there. In yeah, the I weeks. guess that makes sense. Mm. So, I mean, it's cool that they're playing this. To be fair, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. And I guess that's the thing. If it's all top players, you know, maybe they'll want to and stuff. Um, Oh yeah, so if half the people get relegated, then they'd still want to play. Yeah, okay, I guess that's the way to keep to keep interest for them, but not for this. This for for me for this, I just thought, you know, I like the idea of six, so that with five games, you're gonna be live a fair way into it. Um, live. I hated not being live. <laughs> oh. I like the vamp big guy. Mm. I do like the Vampire guy. I think the only time I've not beaten Vamps is when they have Vargs. I've drawn with them twice and they both have Vargs and every other time I've beaten them. Mm. Facts. But, um, there's no sidestep here though, so this isn't an easy one turn, is it? No. I don't even think it's on. Bright's one turn defense is bad. I disagree. Yeah. If the, the back, back line's in, plays that. yeah, but he can't. The thing is, is he he can't get the pushes, Milo. So it doesn't matter where the back line is. Yeah, how does he get the pushes? Like, here? <laughs> he has to. The juggernaut has to hit the golem, so he has to hit the wraith, make sure he powers it, and even if he powers the wraith, the wraith just sidesteps into the square that he needs to blitz from. So it's basically impossible. Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah. Very hard. So he's going to have to knock this wraith down, and then the wraith's going to sidestep, like, up and left. I don't even so know then if it's possible here, anyway. <laughs> well, yeah, no, he, has, he, he is. Well, it's he not now. <laughs> no, it's not now, but he'd have to dodge in behind the golem. I don't think it was possible wraith. anyway, because where's his gutter? His gutter's here. I don't understand how, what it was gonna, how it was going to get pushed. Well, because he was gonna, he was gonna dodge in behind the wraith and the golem with yeah. one of the lime rats. So you knock over that wraith. The wraith side steps up and left, and right. then the rat ogre blitzes from the the left. Who does he blitz? But you, the golem. So how does he, he push, push the gutter? The golem. How does he push the gutter forward? That's what I'm he, saying, well, he didn't he? Yeah, exactly, yeah. he can't. He, he, the gutter needed to be here. The gutter yeah. needed to be one I mean, left. It, yeah, it did need to be one of them. It's not happening anyway. Right? No, it's not. Because he, he, couldn't, he couldn't even get the second push anyway. Yeah. I just think it was impossible. That's what, that's what I was saying. Yeah, I, just I, 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 think, yeah I think so. Yeah. Um, right, so there you go. It was a 2-2. Two -two. A Desmond. Um, Desmond. It was a good game. Yeah. Yeah, and it was good. I'm glad they, I'm glad they played it, you know. Uh, it's good practice as well, isn't it? Like you know, it is. It's all good. They get their, they get their Super League games on Fumble, and they get their Super League games in Blood Bowl Three, and uh, everybody's happy. So there you go. Um, happy, happy, happy. Yep. Yeah. If you bear with me, I'll update the table okay. here. And uh, they're going to play another game now. They're going to play their Chalice game, their Chalice quarter final. This is also an irrelevant game for them. <laughs> Hilariously, because they're both already in the World Cup, so you know the qualifying-wise, it doesn't really matter to them who wins um, in the Chalice either. So there you go.
Oh, that puts Bright above Strider anyway, so he's got that going for him. That draw. So yeah, do you want to hear about chicken? Yeah, well, I, we're still on the YouTube, so oh, all right. how bad is it? <laughs> uh, it's not that bad at all, really, to be fair. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they all went out and got like really hammered on Saturday, and then like you woke up on the the Sunday and was like, oh, I don't think I can do it, do him. I'm really rough, rah, rah. Um, like turns up, plays his first game, right, and then like, uh, like I heard the guy he was playing against saying, "Oh, like his troll died turn one." <laughs> <laughs> He's playing goblins, and his troll got killed turn one. And then anyway, like after game one, it's lunchtime, so I was like, "Where's chicken? Where's chicken?" So like, what he's done is, he's like, he felt like he felt rough, so he was like, "Oh, I'm just gonna go to my car and like sit down for a bit." And then he's sitting in his car, and then he's like, "Oh." Uh, I, I'm pretty hungry. I should go and get some lunch. He's driven to Tesco, and then he's like, he's at Tesco, and he's like, he bought himself a sandwich, and then he's eating the sandwich, and it's made him feel like he wants to be sick. But, <laughs> so he's decided to have like a two-hour nap in his car, and then, and then, and then he woke up and drove home, <laughs> and then like, so. Like, it turns out he won his game. Like, the game where his troll died, he actually won his game. <laughs> but then, like, I, as I was leaving, I was like, oh, I hope you're all right, chicken. Like, I heard you went home and all that sort of thing. And he was like, he, he rang me. He was like, I've left my models at the tournament. I've left my jacket, my minis, like, my dice cup, everything. Like, he, he just forgot that he didn't have any of the stuff with him. Amazing. <laughs> He literally just walked out of the tournament, went to drive a Tesco, ate a sandwich, slept in the car park for two hours, and then drove home without any of his stuff. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, yeah it's hilarious. Incredible. Um, so funny. Good yeah. times. Yeah. So there you go, anyway. So there, there's the table. Olivier wins uh, wins his division. Seabros uh, is second. So the defending champion gets to attempt to retain his title. Uh, Bright narrowly missing out. Strider and Kfog pretty close behind Artemis at the bottom by a mile. Good old Artemis. And then in Group B, we've got Devo gets the uh, playoffs yet again, topping the group on head-to-head -head versus Dimmy, who uh, did a fantastic performance to finish second. There you go. I actually um, had the best record in the league, Jim. Did you? Well, because I've got eight touchdowns and four against, so like... And I got the five wins, four, oh, four wins, one loss, right? So yeah, that's true, yeah. Like, actually, the best performance in the league, even though I'm not top. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I mean, fantastic analysis from Dimmy G, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> decides decides that he's the best after all. I came top, right? That's what I'm saying. I came top. <laughs> no, there Soul tree and then Hiru's head to head puts me bottom actually, so there you go. So I'm I'm the I'm the worst there. Oh my god. Maybe and, uh, you and you and Arma should have a, a playoff for wooden spoon. No no, it hits him, he lost all his games. <laughs> 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 and, then, and then the semi finals are Andy Devo who topped group A versus C Bros and Rup, so a, a a replay of the final, essentially, right? A rematch of the side of the final, not a replay, a rematch of the last season's final, and Olivier Dulac versus Dimmy G in the other one. Very exciting. Um, Olivier is playing Dimmy tomorrow, right? I think. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Andy is playing C Rose on Saturday, so there you go. Very exciting. And uh, thank you, Dimmy. Glorious having you in the booth. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, everybody. For... Stay fantastic. Stay fantastic and thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>